Modern CD jukeboxes are very reliable machines, but depending on how much the jukebox has been used, you may find that after 10 years you may get some problems with CDs jumping, skipping or freezing. Uh, the most obvious thing would be to check the laser head. Uh, now the laser head can be cleaned carefully, first of all. Uh, this is the first thing I'd recommend. The first thing is to power down the jukebox before you start any work on it. Laser heads are very sensitive to static, so it's important that you touch something earthed on the jukebox first to take any static off yourself. The best way to clean a laser is with a cotton bud and some lens cleaning fluid. Just squirt some lens cleaning fluid on the end of the cotton bud and then lift up the flap rub the cotton bud from side to side in the direction that the CD travels in don't use too much liquid on your cotton bud or it will drip down into the electronics below. Once we've done that, it's time to power up the jukebox and try it again. If there's one particular CD you're having problems with, then it could be that CD. But if you're getting jumping problems or skipping problems on several CDs, the chances are your laser head is going to need replacing. I'll talk you through replacing the laser head. Once again, we need to power down the jukebox. We're handling the laser again, so we need to touch the earth to make sure any static is taken off us. To get a good light, I use an LED light, nice and compact, nice and bright, and you can just get it in there. Rest it up so we can see what we're doing. First of all, you need to get the flap up out of the way if you use a cable tie. That clears that out of the way to give us easy access to the laser. You then need a small Phillips screwdriver and release the four screws around the laser. Be very careful when lifting the laser unit out as there are two spacers on the back two screws of the laser. You then need to carefully unplug the leads from the laser. Before you unplug the leads, make a note of which lead goes where because obviously you're going to have to plug those leads back into the same place on the new laser. Okay, so we've removed the old laser, we need to put the new laser in. Once again, touch yourself against something earth to make sure there's no static on you. The new laser should come in an anti-static bag. Handle that carefully. So we need to plug the leads back in to the same place the old ones came out, first of all. Now we need to gently place it back into position, tucking the wires down gently underneath, making sure they don't get trapped anywhere, 
and making sure we don't disturb the two spaces at the back of the unit. Once that's set in position, we just need to replace the screws. Now we release the cable tie on the flap. the torch and we'll give it a try. It's always worth trying the first track of the CD and one of the last tracks in the CD because the laser has to work harder to play a later track on the CD. Okay, that solved our problem, which is brilliant. It's always worth trying a track early on in the CD and later on in the CD to check the lasers working in all positions. If that hasn't solved the problem, then it's more likely to be the decoder board, but it could be anything else, so if that fails, then it's time to call in an expert.